guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin and today I'll be showing you guys what I'm packing in my hospital bag for labor and delivery of my first little baby boy. I absolutely love watching these videos. Even before I was pregnant, I was so nosy and loved to see how everybody was planning to welcome their little baby into the world and everything that they were gonna bring for the hospital and the baby. And I can't tell you how many videos that I've watched, honestly. Um, in preparation for my own delivery and so I feel really good about everything that I brought I know it's a little excessive I have this suitcase and I have the baby diaper bag and my husband's bringing his own suitcase as well um, and there's a couple other things even that I'm gonna have to grab before we go but Anyways, I'm just so excited to be filming this video for you guys. I cannot believe how close we are today. I, am uh, well, tomorrow I am 38 weeks pregnant. I've had this packed since about, I want to say like 35 weeks or so. Um, but I've been slowly adding little things here and there. And I feel really good about it right now. So baby can come any day at this point and... We are so ready. So I, of course, wanted to show you guys everything that I packed to hopefully give you guys some ideas or inspiration when you are packing your hospital bags too. I'm totally sitting on the ground right now, as you can tell, like in a dress, so it's a little awkward. Uh, but yeah, you can see I'm very, very pregnant. I'm currently in the nursery, which is so crazy. So yeah, we're gonna get into it in just a second, but before we do, I want to just ask if you can give this video a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. And also, if you haven't done so already, you can click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll be having a ton of mommy content coming your way. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram, just live by Devin, and you can see a little bit more of my day today. But let's go ahead and get to it because I got a lot of stuff to go through and I don't want this video to be like 10 years long. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with this thing right here. This is the very talked about My Breast Friend pillow. Um, so I knew this was something that I wanted to get. I do plan on breastfeeding and based off of a lot of mama's recommendations, they encourage to bring some sort of breast uh, support pillow or breastfeeding support pillow, I should say, to the hospital to really help with that. Also, um, just I think it will make it easier and just with positioning in the hospital bed, I do want to try and breastfeed right away. And so I just think this will be great. Um, so I'm going to bring it and we shall see if it works. But essentially, it goes around you like this. And you can strap it on and baby can lay right here. I think that'll be really good, especially since I'll probably be sore and whatnot um, with holding the baby on me. So this is the My Breast Friend pillow. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'll make sure to um, put links down below of anything that I can find a link to. Okay, next up is my suitcase. This is pretty heavy. Have it propped up on this ottoman right here. Um, but ugh, it's a carry-on size. <laughs> Let me just put that right back. Um, this is just a plain black carry-on suitcase. But what I like is that it has wheels um, and like the extended handle. That way it'll be really easy to bring in um, when we're walking into the hospital. And my husband also is bringing the exact same one and um, it has a lot of um, pockets and stuff. So I thought that was really cool for storage. So let's go ahead and start with the pockets on top. So we'll go ahead, open this up. Okay, in here we have, let's see, I got some nursing bras. So I got this plain black one right here, it's supposed to be really helpful. Um, these just clip down, it's supposed to be really comfortable. They have pads in them that you can remove. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I, it came with a pack, but I just brought the black one. I also brought another version. This is a little bit more comfortable. This is the one that doesn't have the snaps. These are from Target and you can just like pop it underneath your breast and pop it back over. So I thought black would be the easiest um, and I'll probably be wearing one of these during the delivery process. So when they ask me to change it to my hospital gown, um, I'll probably put one of these on just depending on how I feel. So I got two nursing bras. I thought that would be enough for my hospital stay. I got one, two, two pairs of black um, panties. Um, they're like sort of higher waisted. They're very roomy. 
um, and I don't know if I'll even be using them honestly but I wanted to have them just in case I don't know how I'll be feeling I'll probably be wearing diapers the whole time but in case I needed them I brought two pairs and then I have a pair of these socks these were actually a gift I think they're from Target or something um, but these are little koala like slide on um, sock slipper things and they have the little um, rubber dots on the bottom so these will be what I can wear with my hospital gown if I feel like it I'm not a big sock person I like my feet to be roomy um, but I figured I'd bring an option here just in case so that is what I got going on on this first pocket okay next step on this back pocket I believe we have snacks yes okay so this is so random but I just uh, heard that it's good to bring some snacks um, so I just randomly got some stuff that was, I don't know, just sounded good. Um, first I got some Sour Patch Watermelon in a Ziploc bag because we have one of those big five pound bags and so I didn't want to bring that whole thing. So we love Sour Patch Watermelon if we want a candy. And these are for me and my husband, by the way. Uh, we have these. I have, um, a pack of this sweet and salty mix, just some trail mix. Um, by the cars brand so it has like peanuts raisins cocoa candy sunflower kernels i'm um, just a good staple brought some gum for the little pick me up um got some lorna duna shortbread cookies so random but i figured that it's like a basic thing <laughs> that it's not a good some double stuff oreos and got some cheez it's and then i got a few granola bars so i have a couple of these Nature's Bakery uh, fig bars. Got a raspberry and a blueberry. And then also have a couple of Cliff bars. Um, we got the chocolate chip and the white chocolate macadamia nut. And also got a little Nutrigrain bar as well. So that's what we got going on for snacks. I think that will be plenty, obviously. Uh, we'll have meals and stuff there, but that's what I got for snacks. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the main compartment. Where the heck is the zipper? Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. We have this zipper compartment back here, and we got the main uh, stuff down here. So first up, I got um, just some super cheap uh, flip-flops. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree, but they're actually really comfortable. They're like foamy, um, and they're gray, and I thought that would be a good little neutral with most of my outfits. But these are supposed to be great for when you're walking around the hospital floor, you don't want to be barefoot, and when you're taking a shower. So, got a pair of those. Um, this might be extra and not needed, but just in case, I am bringing my heating pad. Um, so, this is supposed to be helpful if you're like getting like back labor, um, just like some soreness, and um, they may not have one. Uh, especially with COVID, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. So it just has like three settings. I'm going to bring this just in case. Hopefully they'll allow me to use it if I need it. But listen, I'm all about comfort. So if it's going to help me, I'm for it. Um, I got a little mini hairbrush because I'm sure my hair is going to get all sorts of tangled in that hospital bed. And I think this is like from Target or something. It's by the Goody brand. Next, I have my hospital gown and matching pillowcase that I got from Amazon by the brand Gownies. Um, I thought this was so cute. It's like a blue with pink and red. I got it in a size large slash extra large. Um, so hopefully that will be good. But I just thought it'd be cute to feel a little bit more put together at the hospital. I know that they give you your gowns. So this is totally extra and not needed. But uh, this is my first baby and I'm going all out. So uh, it really was not that bad price. I got it on sale and got like my completion discount from my Amazon registry. So got these two things I'm keeping them in here just in case but yeah I'm gonna be bringing my pillow from home and so I'll have this pillowcase to be easy to distinguish from the hospital pillows of course um, and then this so keeping these in here to keep them nice and sanitary okay next I have my makeup bag so I've got all of my makeup again you do not need to wear makeup for labor or delivery but um, I want to go all out and my mind can totally change and I may not want to even touch this but in the event <laughs> that I do I have all of my makeup right here um, if you guys are interested to see like everything that's inside of this um, then let me know like I can if I do end up wearing makeup for labor 
uh, maybe I can go through all the items that I wore and I tried to go for like long lasting and just easy makeup to put on in the hospital bed so um, you know just my basics foundation concealer all that good stuff so I have it all in this little bag that I believe is like from Target. Um, next I have my toiletries bag. Um, so got a good amount of stuff in here. Um, this one I believe is also from Target. It's by the Pretty Brand. And I'll show you real quick what I got in here. So I got some like body wash. Um, I got my little mini deodorant. This is a natural deodorant, aluminum free, which I think is going to be good for baby and breastfeeding. Got some conditioner. Got some shampoo, which I put in here. Um, have some dry shampoo uh, because I may not want to wash my hair when I'm there, but may want to get a little refresher. I got my Thayer's facial toner to refresh myself. Um, I have this little fragrance mist for my hair to, again, make it feel nice and clean. I have a little travel toothpaste. I have a face wash. Um, I got some floss. I got some hand cream in case my hands get dry. I have um, some little lip therapy Vaseline for my lips because I hear that your lips can get dry in the hospital. I got a couple of essential oils. I got lavender and peppermint. Lavender for relaxing, peppermint for um, nausea. I also have two additional oils that are in my uh, bedroom that I've been using to help with like naturally um, supporting and you know baby coming here. So and that's gonna be clary sage and rosemary. So um, that's something that's on my list that's not packed right now, but I'll grab before I go to the hospital. As well as my oil diffuser, I will also be packing. Hopefully they'll let me use that. Um, again, so extra, I know. Um, I got a couple of these. If you guys remember from my nausea video, um, these are like little uh, wristbands that help with nausea. They helped me my first trimester. And just in case I'm feeling nauseous, um, I brought these to see if they would help. Um, I got a couple of hair bands if I want my hair to be up. A little softer one as well. Both of those are from like the dollar store. Um, I brought some little cotton rounds um, for my facial toner. And I think that is everything in here. I think I just need to add my, uh, like a little mini body lotion. I think it's the only thing I need to add in there. So I'll make sure to grab that before I put it back in here. But that is all of my toiletries. Let me zip that right back up. Oh, and my face moisturizer as well I need to put on there. So body and face moisturizer. Um, I also brought a toothpaste, uh, a toothpaste, a toothbrush in this little toothbrush holder from Target. So I popped that in there. I got some makeup wipe remover since I do plan on wearing makeup if I want to easily get it off without washing my face. I uh, got these, these are just from Costco. Um, I have my makeup brushes. So this is uh, in a bag I've had forever, probably from Target, but it has all of my makeup brushes and makeup sponge. Um, so that I'm good to go there. I also brought these. They're from Five Below. I've had them for quite some time. They're a little used and abused, but they're like little slide-ons, um, and they're sort of like slippers. Super comfortable. Thought this would be uh, really easy to wear as well if I don't want to wear the flip-flops, something a little bit more cozy. So the flip-flops I'll probably use for like a shower, and these I'll probably use for walking around everywhere. Um, so I thought that'd be easier. Again, just not a huge sock lover. Um, next, I got these Tux cooling pads. So um, they may give them to you at the hospital, but I wanted to bring some just in case they don't. Uh, but these are just medicated cooling pads. They're supposed to help with down there and if you get like any hemorrhoids and stuff from labor delivery and it's supposed to just have, um, it, yeah, it's like witch hazel in there and helps with, you know, not irritating down there and cleanses and all that kind of stuff. So I got a pack of that and then um, I also have this Perry bottle. So um, I got this from Amazon. They do give you some similar type of bottle um, at the hospital, but it doesn't have like a little swoop to where it's easy to shoot without like inverting yourself or whatever. So yeah, this is Again, not needed necessarily. I'll probably use this more at the house than at the hospital, but I wanted to bring it just in case I was having some trouble with the bottle that they gave me at the hospital. Okay, on this side, let me move it around here. Oof. I got um, like my clothes. 
So here, this is from Target, I believe, and it's one of those little button down long sleeve type of sleeping gowns. Um, this is like in a size large so that it'd be nice and roomy for my belly. Um, and I thought this would be great to uh, wear at like whenever I'm done with delivering um, just to be comfortable. They can still have access down there and it will be also good for breastfeeding so that because it has the buttons, um, it's just super soft, cozy material. Um, and yeah, so I just thought this would be perfect. So got that. Um, I also have this little black maternity nursing type of robe. So I got this from Amazon um, and this is in a size large. So it's just a robe and it's supposed to be just really comfortable and easy access for breastfeeding. And again, something that would be cozy. I don't know how long I'll be in the hospital, of course, because um, you always want to prepare for a possible C-section. And so I know this is probably a little extra. Um, I do have um, this uh, little set. Um, I believe it's from Target. It's just a shorts um, and a short sleeve top. This is from the Stars Above line at Target. It is buttery soft, like Oh my gosh, so, so soft. So the buttons, again, will be great for breastfeeding. I'm not sure how this will fit my stomach, but I brought it just in case for like some little jammies. Um, but they have shorts, so I don't know if I'm gonna like be in the mood for shorts, um, but I have that just in case. I'll probably end up just wearing that when I'm home. I do have a little nursing tank, so if I wanna wear that underneath like my robe or something, I have this. It has the built-in padding. Um, and the little clips to take down. Um, these are from Amazon. I got them in the pack as well. And um, if I want to feel like more sucked in or something, then I have that option. Next, I brought a couple options for going home outfit. Um, so like two little dresses. Um, so one is like a tank. These are both from Target. So this is like a green and white. This is like an all um, green. This is a short sleeve tank. And they're both really, really soft, nice and flowy on the bottom, uh, cause I'm probably not gonna wear pants. Um, so I got that and also brought some little shorts. Um, what is this from? Probably, yeah, this is also from the Target brand. Um, again, if I feel like, you know, being more tucked in, cause I'll be wearing a diaper, I'm sure, uh, then I can wear this underneath my dress. If not, then I'll just be wearing the diaper <laughs> underneath, uh, just chilling like that. Um, and then I also brought a cardigan just in case um, it gets cold in the uh, hospital. Um, if I want to wear this like over my dress, um, it's summer right now in Texas and very hot. Um, but I do think that I'll have access to controlling the temperature in the room uh, at the hospital. And I definitely want to make it super cold. Um, so I just have this cozy little um, cardigan that I got from like TJ Maxx or something. So I know this is a lot, but I am just planning for a possible C-section, which you can be in the hospital for like three or four days. So I wanted to have plenty um, of options to change into. I don't wanna feel like I have to wear dirty clothes or stay in a hospital gown or anything like that. I want to feel as comfortable as possible. So that's everything that I brought. I'm just putting it right back there. And now we'll go ahead and move on to the top little zipper compartment. We are almost done with this bag. All right, so now we have everything up here. So I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, so this is where I have a lot of like my postpartum stuff. Um, so let me keep things as organized as I can. All right, so I got some nipple butter. This is by Earth Mama, the organic nipple butter for breastfeeding because I hear that you may need it. Um, speaking of needing it, stool softener. This is just the Walmart Equate brand. Um, again, I hear you can need this because you can get constipated because um, I do plan on getting an epidural. Um, Dermaplast. So in years past, they would give this to you at the hospital, but I've heard with like COVID or something, there's a shortage and they're not giving this out. So I ordered some myself. You spray it down there. It's supposed to numb things and help you. Um, I got some 
nipple pad covers or nursing pad covers. So um, I got some reusable ones that are more thick and then I also got some disposable ones as well. I don't know which ones they have. Not sure if they'll give them to me, but I wanted to at least have like these to go home in and these as well in case those get soaked. Um, I brought this little eye mask um, in case I want to sleep. Um, this is from Amazon. It's very soft and they have like little pockets to where it's not like rubbing up directly on like my eyes. Um, and also is like has a little room over your nose. It's adjustable and stretchy and yeah. So for sleep, if I need it because it might be a little too bright for me because I'm used to sleeping in the complete darkness. Um, I brought a few of these maxi pads from Walmart. Um, these are like, yeah, pretty big. I know that they'll give me some at the hospital, but just in case I brought some um, as well as a few of these Depends diapers. I hear this brand's really good. So I hear they give you like mesh underwear at the hospital um, and some form of like pads to go with it. So just in case I don't feel uh, secure, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring a few of these in case I want it. Um, and then I brought this thing right here. I got this off of Amazon and it's basically like a waist. It's not a waist trainer. What is it? Like a, it's a postpartum belt. Um, and so essentially it's supposed to help keep you sucked in. Um, this is, can be good for normal delivery or post C-section. Um, it has a lot going on, so I really don't know how it works, but you basically can suck your stomach all in because it feels very, I mean, you just have like a human come out of you, but it's still like swollen. Um, and it may feel just super loose and like jello from what I've heard. And so if you want to feel secure, um, basically this is supposed to help. It's like a one fit, uh, one size fits all waist belt and so um there's even like an additional attachment there's like different levels that you can go um and it comes with like this little user guide so i'll probably read up on that at the hospital but i hear that this can be very helpful for when you're just like maneuvering around um and, and when you go home as well that you don't feel as like jelly keeping that in this little package that came in an amazon so it could be nice and secure. All right, so that is everything in my suitcase. Now we're gonna move on to the diaper bag. Okay, so this is um, the diaper bag. It's from Amazon. We are obsessed with it. I wanted it to be uh, like a gender neutral thing so myself or my husband can use it. It's by the Rivolino brand. It's such great quality. I love the color. Um, it's supposed to be like white resistant um, and yeah. I just absolutely love it. So it's packed up with things uh, for uh, us and for baby. So um, it's not going to be like it's normal capacity when we're going out. But yeah, it has a bunch of compartments in here. So we're just going to go through this real quick. First thing is I'm bringing this swell bottle or swig bottle, I should say. Um, I got this as a gift. It's like rose gold. It has this super cute blue straw. Um, and yeah, I know that they give you like a little thing there, but I like the stainless steel so that it can stay cold and I know that I'm going to be wanting to stay super hydrated so I have that here in the pocket. Um, let's go ahead and do the front pocket next. Alright, so first thing is I have my camera. So this is like my vlogging camera. It's my Sony A5100 I believe. I do plan on trying to get as much footage as I can in the hospital. So I have this um, as well as the charger in here. Um, I do have a, speaking of charger, I got this 10 foot cord um, charger from Amazon. Um, that way it could reach my hospital bed hopefully. So I got that and I have one for my husband as well. This is my charger for my camera. Then I have this little Hush portable sound machine. So this is what uh, we'll be using for a white noise for baby boy. So that's what it is and you can turn it up if needed. So, so yeah, that's really nice and you can like uh, hook it up right next to them and it comes with a charger as well. I also brought some headphones that will plug into my iPhone in case I want to listen to some music by myself or videos uh, without disturbing like my husband or something. Now one thing that you don't see, you'll, you probably would have seen it in my nursery tour, 
video if I've already uploaded that, but I have a little letter board for us to announce um, his uh, name and pounds and inches and all of that. Um, and so I have these extra letters from that. So, cause I don't know obviously how much he's going to weigh or how long he's going to be. So I have these in a little Ziploc bag, um, enough like numbers and stuff that I'll need. And so I'll make sure cause I have it up here in the nursery to grab that before we go to the hospital. I also have this little attachment and this here, it goes with the tripod, which you're about to see for my camera. This one can be used for a phone. So if I feel like using my phone or if my camera dies, um, I can put this on the tripod and vlog with my phone. And this has like a little um, clicker for if I need to start it with hands-free. All right, next up I have this pocket right here. So first thing I have in this pocket is this little pacifier um, silicone holder. So to keep them clean. Um, so I have also a pacifier clip in here. These are from Amazon, they came in a pack. Um, as well as a couple options for pacifiers. I have a MAM newborn pacifier and a little um, Avent Soothe pacifier for zero to three months. So I have those options. Not sure if I'm gonna introduce the Passy right away or not. Um, I've heard the mixed reviews on that, but I wanted to bring it just in case. So we have this and I really like this. This is also from Amazon um, to keep it nice and clean. Next, I have um, this swaddle blanket. This is from Aiden and Anais, I think, and my sister got it for me. It is so soft, like literally the softest thing ever. So if we want to swaddle him in this, we'll just wrap it in, um, you know, on him like a little blanket, um, whatever it is, it's just so soft. And so I wanted to have something like this, almost like a little baby blanket for him. Uh, next we have this little going home outfit. So it's a little swaddle with a hat matching. This is from the brand Miracle Baby from Amazon. I love the bluish green color. Um, and so this is where we're gonna take, uh, we'll put him in when we take his little announcement photo with the letter board. Um, so I'm so excited for that. Next I have um, some mittens. So we have, um, Two options, we have these white mittens and these gray ones. These gray ones match with this little hat right here. So, so cute. Um, I thought that would also be cute if I wanted to swaddle him in the gray uh, swaddle that I just showed you. Um, and yeah, I hear that they can have longer fingernails. So I brought them in so that he doesn't scratch his face. And then we also got some little socks. He probably won't use them, but I wanted to have them just in case maybe it's really cold and I want him to stay warm. Next, I just have a few clothing options for him. Um, just three things here. So this, I have these little PJs. This is from the Just One You by Carters. These are newborn. I'll have no idea if these will fit him or not um, because he's protected to be big, but I brought them just in case. Um, cause again, we don't know how long we're going to stay there. Um, but we have that as well as another one that's like newborn. It's so small. I doubt it would fit him. Um, in fact, I may not even bring it. It is stretchy, but it's this little tiny onesie. So in case he's small, we have this here. It's by H and M. We were gifted that. And then I do have a zero to three months, um, little onesie as well just like a little navy color most likely will be something that he wears instead um so those are really the only clothes that we're bringing him just because we know that normally they just keep them swaddled up at the hospital um and we got you know a couple options there so that's what we're bringing clothing wise now we're in the main compartment back here so um i am packing a haka and this has a top which is really cool um, but this is supposed to be so great, basically suctions and, um, goes onto your boobs. So I'm not bringing like the actual electric breast pump that I have ordered, but I figured I'd bring this for like a manual option for maybe pumping colostrum or like when I am breastfeeding to maybe catch some that may come out on the other breast. So I'm um, bringing this just in case. And I like that it has the top as well, which they came out with more recently. Next up, I have this. I know this is probably extra. We have this for the stroller. So it's a little stroller fan and it has these little flexible legs and you can see I turn it on. Oh, that feels so good. 
Um, but I hear that this is really good for um, putting next to you on the hospital bed if you get hot, which I do get hot. So um, I wanted to bring this. I know, so extra. Um, here is the tripod, so it can go out like this on three, and it's also flexible as well. Um, so that hopefully we can get a good angle um, whenever we're getting some footage and we set it up. And you just twist it on top here, and again, you can put that little um, adapter for your phone if needed as well. Next, I have this little nail file for babies. So um, if his nails are long, um, we do have this option because I'm going to be probably so scared to cut his nails. This is like a little electric file. It has different settings. Um, I already have the batteries in here. And you just put it on and you can file them down versus cut them so you don't have to worry about cutting their skin. So I have this option here. Oh, I also have this. It's a little travel um, bum co a little spatula for when you are changing him and using diaper rash cream um, so this is a little mini version so I have a big version over on my changing table um, but this comes with this as well just keeps it from getting over um, all over your hands and getting all sticky so have this here I also brought a couple of these wipes water wipes and sensitive wipes um, just in case I don't like the ones that they have there I also have some little newborn diapers. These are the Pampers Pure brand. Um, just because, just want to have some in here, just in case. Um, next, I have um, basically a bunch of burp cloths. Um, so totally, probably extra. This one came free with the bag. So I have this one. I have a few little tiny, um, they're like, oh, these are washcloths. So just in case I want to like wipe something away. I have these, these were a gift, um, and then I got these two larger Muslim burping cloths that can go over your shoulder. Um, again, I just don't know how long that will be there, and I want to have options that will be used by my husband and myself for our little baby boy. Also, in case you're wondering, this diaper bag does come with this portable um, changing pad so that if you need to like change them in the back of the car, stopped of course, or um, where you're out somewhere. Um, you can lay this down um, and it's wipeable so it's very sanitary okay so that's everything in the diaper bag I am getting my phone pulled up because I do have a list of things that I have to bring last minute that's not right here um, so I already told you guys about the oil diffuser and uh, the clary sage and rosemary oils so I'm gonna be grabbing that um, of course we're going to grab the car seat the car seat base is already in um, and installed in our car so we're good there. Um, I'm going to bring some maybe some extra SD cards. I've been using those to film right now but I'll make sure to grab a few extra. i um, going to bring a pillow and blanket for my husband and I. I already have them in the other room. Um, also going to bring a pregnancy witch pillow. I sleep with that every single night and I thought that would be good for when I'm in the hospital bed and on my side and want to wedge it under my belly during the laboring process. I'm also going to bring my nurse gift baskets with me. If you didn't watch that video of those baskets that I made for the nurses, I'll link that down below. I still need to print out some copies of my birth plan. I have that on my phone and I can of course like email that to my provider and have them printed out if needed, but I did want to have a few printed out copies. I'm going to bring that letter board for his announcement. And yeah, that is everything else. Of course, my husband's going to be bringing his bag. Here I have a suitcase in his closet ready to go. He's just going to pack some like clothes um, and toiletries and things like that. So of course, the blanket and pillow um, for him as well. So that is everything that I am packing and bringing to the hospital for me and baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it was long. I know that I have probably way more than I actually need. Um, but like I said, this is my first baby and I just want, I don't, I'm much rather overpack than underpack and regret not bringing something once I'm there at the hospital. So um, we'll see. If you guys have any suggestions of things that I should be packing that are not already on here, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, it's crazy. He can be coming any day now. I can be grabbing this stuff and headed to the hospital and that just blows my mind but um don't forget to like this video guys if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on instagram just life by devin but other than that i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video bye guys